My name is Benjamin Delprat and I am a research director at the French National Institute of Health. I am working on a rare genetic disease named Wolfram syndrome that associates diabetes, hearing loss and optic atrophy. During all of my scientific career, beginning from my PhD to my uh, actual position at the INSERM, I always focus my attention to the hearing loss problem. Unfortunately, there is no treatment for this rare, severe, fatal disease. Zebrafish could be used in a single experiment with a lot of zebrafish and a lot of molecules at the same time. Therefore, we have a good model to identify novel chemical entities to treat Wolfram syndrome pathology. We need to have models, good models, that re reproduces the different symptoms. The hearing loss, the optic atrophy, and the diabetes. In the zebrafish, we had to develop novel device, acoustical startle response, and also the vision using the optokinetic response and the visual motor response. We used the viewpoint technology using the Desio box and the Zebra box in order to be sure that uh, our molecule will be efficient in human. We need a good model that recapitulates the symptoms observed in human. We are using the Visio box, and this Visio box allows us to determine the visual acuity of the zebrafish. In Wolfram zebra patients, there is a decrease in this visual acuity. Therefore, this model, our genetic model of Wolfram syndrome in zebrafish, is very relevant for the validation of the drugs that will be used to correct the visual deficit. We used the visual motor response with the classical uh, zebra box device. But as it is a behavioral test, we need to control the environment, namely the sound and the light. In order to control the better that we can this environmental perturbations, we decided to create a sound, pro, a sound and a light proof box. Why it is important? Because when we are analyzing 96 zebrafish larvae at a time with the zebra box, we need to have a homogeneous behavior of the animals. And it is the same for the, for the sound, and we need to have the same sound intensity in each well in order to compare each zebrafish behavior. We calibrate the sound intensity. We need to be sure that the sound delivered into each well is close to the mean. The difference between each well is less than three decibels, which is more than correct to realize a good experiment. We are using a dB meter that will record the sound intensity during all the experiment. This soundproof box is efficient for controlling the, the environmental noise. And with this apparatus, the dB meter, we are sure that no external stimu sound stimulation was introduced into the experiment that will perturbate the behavior of the zebrafish. The zebrafish uh, model of Wolfram syndrome at the adult stage develop a, a cognitive deficit similar to what we observe in a, in a patient uh, of Wolfram syndrome. In the last set of experiment, we would like to use the PPI, the Prepels inhibition. The zebra box is placed in the same sound and light proof box with an amplifier that will deliver the sound and amplify the sound stimulation because in the Prepels inhibition, we are using the sound as a pulse to um, trigger the escape behavior of the zebrafish larvae. And the classical behavior of Prepulse inhibition is the escape behavior. This behavior begins between 20 to 50 milliseconds. We identified two novel chemical entities that boost the activity of the sigma-1 receptor and that correct all the deficits in the zebrafish larvae but also in our mouse model of the pathology. It is very important because these results are the first step toward clinical trial that we would like to initiate 
in three years uh, from now.